Hey everybody, Alyssa here at Preferred Physical Therapy. Um, I just wanted to hop on and talk about another common foot ankle diagnosis we see here. Um, I know in the Technique Tuesday video we went over a calf stretch and a big toe stretch to help reduce some of that tension um, in through the bottom of the foot or in through the calf. And then the blog post went over bursitis. However, we have been getting a lot of referrals here for posterior tib um, tendonitis. So I just kind of wanted to talk about what that is and how you would know maybe if you had it and a couple things you could try. But if you're not seeing um, success with some of those things, it is important to um, seek out a physical therapist or a podiatrist um, to take care of it because I'm going to get into that a little bit. So first we're going to talk about um, what the condition is. So your posterior tibialis tendon is an, or your posterior um, tibialis is a muscle that's deep in your calf and the tendon runs from that muscle in through the middle portion of your foot. Um, on the inside of your ankle there's that big bump that's um, called your medial malleolus and it runs kind of right along that and then the tendon attaches at the foot in the instep of your foot. And so what this does is it is a really important stabilizer for the arch and the foot. If this um, becomes inflamed, weakened, or torn, you might start to see that your foot is um, kind of collapsing inward or pronating, um, and you might just feel like your arch has started to fall in toward the ground. And um, there are conservative ways to treat this if you catch it early enough. We have seen a lot of people that just thought it would get better and wait and wait and wait, and then it doesn't. Now their foot is in kind of a permanently deformed position where it's fallen inward, and then they do need a surgery. Um, but there are plenty of things you can do to try to um, avoid needing that because it is a long recovery process. Um, the reason that this is so important, like I said, is that it's going to support the foot. So as you start to lose that tendon, um, supporting as your foot starts to collapse in it causes issues um, not only on the outer portion of your foot but all the way up the chain meaning you can find issues at your knees your hips because now you're walking differently um, so some of the hallmark signs that it might be your um, posterior tib tendon um, could be that you're going to find that you have pretty localized pain right along the inside of your foot or ankle there may be a little bit of swelling over that region and it's going to be pretty tender if you try to touch it other issues you might notice are pain with activating it. And so what um, a common test is called a single leg or a single heel raise test. And so on one foot, you're trying to go as high up onto your tiptoes as you can. And then a lot of people find either it's extremely painful on the inner portion of their foot or they can't even lift their heel off the ground. Um, so then you found out that that might be the case or you're thinking it might be um, some things you can try at home would be, if you're a, a runner or an avid walker, would be maybe to try some cross-training things. Try biking, try swimming for a little while, and just see if um, swimming, biking, things like that help alleviate it if you've been doing that for a little while, um, just to give that muscle a break. Another thing would be to do some calf stretching. I know we've really hit calf stretching pretty hard um, during these Technique Tuesday videos standing gastroc and soleus stretches, getting both portions of that calf. Um, I showed a seated one with a towel if the standing one is a bit uncomfortable. And then another thing is to wear supportive shoes. We see a lot of people that they like their flip-flops, they like their flat shoes, but they feel like their foot hurts more when they're in them. Um, I know it's summer, wearing tennis shoes is kind of hot, but not um, a bad idea to try wearing some more supportive shoes. Um, you can try orthotics if that's helped in the past and just see if that extra support gives it a little bit of help. Um, but the last thing would be, if you're finding that you're starting to notice these symptoms would be don't wait, um, do seek out some somebody. Um, because like I said, the longer you wait and if it starts to get progressively worse, you are going to notice that um, the foot is starting to deform in a way that you can't just fix conservatively anymore. So, um, like I said, that was just a little bit of a description about posterior tibialis tendonitis. Um, we see a lot of it in here. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, drop a comment below. Call the clinic. Um, but 
like I said, it's an important thing to try to manage and get under control sooner rather than later. So have a good rest of your week and a great weekend, everybody. Thank you.